Drafts is a super powerful writing app for the iPhone, iPad, and Mac. And it is so powerful, there's so much you can do with this app that it can be a little intimidating, frankly. And so today I wanna walk you through creating our first action in Drafts, our first custom action, so that you can see how it works and hopefully it'll spur some ideas for you when you're using the app. Hi everybody, welcome back to A Better Computer. My name is Matt and I am super excited today to be able to say this video is being brought to you not only by A Better Computer, but also by The Suite Setup. The Suite Setup, if you don't know, is a great resource for finding the best software available for all of your Apple devices. It's a really great site. I'm very happy to be working with them. And so if you wanna see the written version of this article, you can check that out in the description. Uh, but other than that, let's jump into how you create a document template in drafts using Actions. Okay, so before we make our new action, I want to go to the drafts directory. It's actions.getdrafts.com. And there's a whole bunch of stuff here. You can get custom actions, groups of actions, syntax highlighting, themes. There's all sorts of stuff you can do here. I want two things. I want an action group for Markdown. So that's going to be uh, this. You can just search for Markdown. It's going to be the top action group that comes up. And this basically just adds a ton of Markdown functionality, keyboard shortcuts, syntax highlighting, a lot of good stuff uh, that you will want to have. So download this and install it. You can just tap that uh, and then say allow. It's going to open up drafts and this will work on the iPhone, iPad, or Mac. So whatever device you're working on, it'll work. So that's great. That's a good one to start with. And the second one is I wanna get a theme. And so I've actually already gone to the one I want, but if you go to the themes page, you can see recent themes, sort by most popular, uh, to see some of the cool ones. A lot of dark ones are popular, but this is for writing. So make something that looks good for you. Um, I'm personally going to use my own warm and bright theme. I think this looks really nice. Uh, so you can kind of see a preview of, it, preview of it here. You can open it in the theme builder, and then you can kind of customize it to your own taste. Uh, we don't have time to get into this today. There's a ton of stuff here. Uh, but yeah, you can totally go crazy with this if you want. Again, on any device, just hit install. It'll open drafts and install that theme for you. So let's uh, go into drafts itself. Okay, so now we're in the Drafts app, and what I actually want to do is set my theme first, right? So I've got, um, you know, heading, uh, there's heading one, heading two, heading three. Uh, we'll do, uh, this is some text, and a quote, right? So this is the default draft theme, which looks fine, but I want to do that new one that I installed. So I click the two A's down there, and I can just select the one that I want. And so I like warm and bright. And then I've got another one, dark and friendly. So those are the themes that I like. Again, you get those from the drafts directory. And so now I can see that styled to what I want. So cool, perfect. Uh, but that's not what I want here. I want to create a new action. So I want to go up here to this icon. And then on the Mac, I'm going to right click here and do insert action on the iPad and iPhone. You can do this as well. You'll just hit the red plus icon or whatever your theme is. That'll show a plus icon over here. Uh, do insert action. And so I can do a whole bunch of things here. I'm not gonna do everything, but I'll show you a couple of the things that you probably wanna do. Uh, so we're gonna call this new doc, uh, and then I'm gonna give it an icon. Uh, I'm gonna make it pink, and then I'm gonna do just a document icon, right? So pretty simple. Uh, and then again, a whole bunch of things you can do. I like to have a keyboard shortcut set up. So I just set up uh, this. So it's gonna be basically all the modifier keys and Q that's going to run uh, my thing. I wanna assign tags. I like ABC for my uh, better computer headers or art documents, I should say. And then again, you can do kind of as much here as you want. And then these steps are where you actually tell this action what to do. And so first off, you have to select what you're gonna do. And there's a ton of things. <laughs> We're just gonna do insert text. But again, there's a billion things you can do with these actions. It's a huge rabbit hole uh, that we could go down. Let's just do insert text. So do that, click it, and then what text do you wanna insert, right? Pretty simple. So I'm just going to paste in uh, what I use actually. There we go. And so I have kind of this YAML front matter, uh, which is just some metadata for it. I have the date created uh, with a variable. So there's tons of variables. Again, the drafts directory has your details on this, uh, but I have the date. This will dynamically put the current date. I have what I'm gonna use for the YouTube title, uh, the URL, when I upload it, the video number in my series, and then some description, script, and research sections. Uh, this probably isn't what you need, so let's do something that's more universal. Right, so this is pretty darn simple. Uh, and so basically this is title goes here, body goes here. 
super simple. And so uh, you can do something a little more interesting, but this kind of gets the point across. This is useful for a lot of blogging style publishing platforms. Uh, so if you're publishing to WordPress or Ghost or something like that, this will be what you use. Um, but yeah, let's just leave it like this. And so let's go ahead and close this. You'll see it over here in the sidebar. I also see it down here. And uh, if I close this, I can just click it again from here, it'll run. There we go. Or I'm just gonna delete that. And then I can also do my keyboard shortcut. So uh, Command, Control, Option, Q. There we go, it runs it and that's all good. Uh, so I'm gonna select this and say, this is the title. And then uh, this is going to be a great article. There we go. So that's really it. Again, nothing too exciting, uh, but this lets you format things all the same way. Uh, you can do things more elaborate. Uh, if I actually go in and go ahead and edit that one that I did, you'll kind of see a little more realistic with what I do. There we go. And so I'm gonna save this now and again, close this. And this time I'm gonna double click new doc. There we go. And so now I get date created with the date. I get to see my video title, URL, video number. I know this is gonna be 163. Uh, there we go, and yeah, that's it. So I can start to uh, do my research. I can start doing this with like a link uh, to, uh, I don't know, google.com, <laughs> right? Uh, so that's gonna be, there we go. And so you can just kind of start writing from there, but again, everyone is gonna have their own special thing, but that's kind of how you create one. Use a keyboard shortcut to do it quickly. Those keyboard shortcuts sync over to your other devices as well. So if you have a keyboard on your iPad, you can do that there. That's really nice. I'll show you a couple others that I think are really nice. Uh, so uh, we also have, let's see, uh, we have post to WordPress. Uh, so again, you can uh, just publish straight from drafts to WordPress. This one's really, really nice. Uh, we have post to micro blog uh, with a title. So that's exactly the format that we were looking at just now. Uh, it'll look for that uh, heading row and then we'll create that as your title of the post. Everything else will be the body. We've got a new sheet in Ulysses, uh, which will take the text and move it into a sheet in Ulysses. If you want to do something in Ulysses to publish as a PDF or to another site, something like that, uh, you can send your notes to Bear. You can send it to day one. And again, if you want more, just go to actions over here. There's 32 pages of them. You can sort by most popular, newest, whatever you want. You can search. Uh, if you want to do like WordPress, we'll go ahead and search for that. There's four different ones you can do for WordPress. You can find the right one for you. Tons of flexibility here. Drafts is super, super powerful. And again, the nice thing about it is you can unlock as much or as little of this functionality as you want. And actions are the core of that. So hopefully this gives you an idea of how to use actions, how to create your own. And if it is helpful at all to you, hit the thumbs up button below. We'd love to see that. And I will see you here next time. Bye-bye.